no, we could always threaten to dump this lot on him. That'd solve half my problems. Yeah, and mine. I'll get my wife back. Oh, Kelly will come back, don't worry. We get this sorted, I can move back into the flat, can't I? She'll come back then. Not if Kelly's mum's got anything to do with it, the old dragon. She won't even let me in the house. She's being overprotective, that's all. Kelly won't let her mum stop her once we're out of the way. You've been good to me in all this, George. I didn't want to be this much trouble to you. Well, I could hardly let you keep in a cardboard box, could I? It's not going to be easy, you know. We get this lot sorted out. We've still got this lot. And a cab phone. More or less, what have we still? Might be a lot easier than a reason I do. Yes, Mr. Green. It's the Nichols. My sister Beatty. Hello. Please Hello. meet you. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Please, come in. Not all of us, though, eh? <laughs> Colin! Hey! Sorry, mate. We'll be a little worm. Sorry, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. I just thought I'd hang around and freeze to death waiting for you. That's what I do with my life, Colin. I wait for you. Like I waited all weekend. You were moving in, remember? I waited all weekend. Yeah, I know. I just didn't get around to telling her, all right? I tried. It just wouldn't come out. Well, I'll tell you what you can do instead, shall I? You can get stuck! Sorry! Sorry! What's the matter, Zoe? He's blown her right again, the silly son. Zoe! You all right? She hit me! You see that? She hit me! Well, they will if you make them angry enough. You must have been working on it. Sorry! 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 Good for her. About time somebody knocked him into shape. <laughs> Looks more like she was knocking him out of it from where I was. It's possessiveness, isn't it? He's called up on a battleground of rival affections. I told him it was a quagmire, didn't I? Yeah. I must have forgot to lock it up. No joke, Colin. She run off. Hit me and run off. I told you, didn't I? What did I tell you? I don't know, but you never told me they got violent. Well, what do you expect her to do? Just let you walk all over her? It was a big promise and you broke it. Oh, don't you start. You're all the same, of course. Oh, don't put it up with that cake. Get stuck in. Come on, give us a smile. Nice and friendly, is it? You got a minute, Kevin? Sure. You're beginning to sound like a leading hand recall. <sighs> Just mucking about, Gav, that's all. That's what I mean. I guess you're still missing me. Malcolm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A bit strange, I suppose. Here one day, gone the next. Keep expecting it to walk in the door. Yeah, he took me by surprise, I've got to admit. Put me on the spot with the management as well. Still, the world keeps turning. It's given Mackenzie a step up, and uh, now it looks as though it might be your turn as well. How's that go? This is confirmation of your acceptance onto the special response course. You report to the OIC, Morton in Marsh, Sunday the 12th. You're joking. I thought that was all dead and buried. Well, you were looking for something to get your teeth into. Now you've got your chance. Don't tell me you've changed your mind. No, no. I, just, I don't know how you did it, but it's fantastic. I thought it was just for officers. Oh, I really appreciate it. Thanks, Gov. You might want to save the thanks till after the course. It's not going to be a picnic. All right? I've been accepted at Porters! I've been it off! Okay, old you. And a one, two, three. Up. Nearly finished, darling. We'll be home in a day or two. I hope so. I'm fed up with these tests. I know. You get some rest now. I'll come and read your story later. I'll be just downstairs in my room, all right? Mum? Yeah? Is Dad on duty tonight? Yes, he is. 
He'll be in tomorrow, though. I expect he'll bring Ben with him. Can you ask him if he'll bring the story about the pheasants? He read that to me. All right, then. I'll see you later. You'd better get some rest. Staying here doesn't mean you have to be awake 24 hours a day. I wish I could. I reckon taking beat in the kids was the masterstroke, George. Back manager took one look at you and thought, blimey, this man needs help. He wasn't far out if he did. Some of them worked anyway. You get the green light then, yeah? Yeah, we've got six months to start off with, and then he's going to take another look later on. You must have the touch, mate. You don't fancy having a word with my bank manager, do you? Yeah, and mine. No, no thanks. One's enough. He's not doing it out of the kindness of his heart, George. You can rest assured of that. They'll get their pound of flesh, don't worry. What good's a pound of flesh in a bank? The merchant of Venice, Colin. Sick notes bubbling out in Shakespeare, even. Oh, him? Did he ever say anything that made any sense? So, what's the plan, George? Your sister thinking of picking up the taxi business again? Well, what's left of it, yeah. There's yeah, still a couple of cars left after the heavy mob have had theirs back. Well, B, you can answer the phone and go to the bank and all that sort of stuff. You know, but the main thing is I'll get some drivers on board to get the show back on the road. Then I might be able to see Kelly. Well, we could all help out, couldn't we? We can all drive. Oh, yeah, we've seen you. You can't even stay upright on a moped. <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to work out something, though. What's the going range, George? If you're talking about moonlighting, I think you're all aware of brigade policy on secondary employment. Anybody in this watch think they haven't got a full-time job? Thank you, Bailey. Very nice. He can't bear to miss a trick, can he? You just noticed. How much, George? Mm-hmm. What we could do, we could have a little divvy up. Who's going to pay off the Right. That's it. I'm going to give him a piece of our mind now. Hello? Is Bert Quigley there? Who? Bert Quigley. Oh, yeah, hang on a second. Sick note. It's for you. Who is it? Don't know. Well, you might have asked. Why am I? You're a receptionist. Perhaps it's Shakespeare. It's Mrs. Shakespeare, if it is. Bert Quigley. Darling, it's me. I just had to talk to you. Cynthia? What's the matter? Where'd you get this number? Oh, Paul gave it to me. It's all right. I'm not at home. I just had to talk to you. Oh, Bert. I think I love you. Look, uh, I'm sorry. I think we're at cross purposes here. Who was it you wanted? Bert. The bells, yeah. There you are. See? Uh, Goodbye. Sorry. Hello? Bert! Person locked in, Church Road. Pump only. Person locked in, Gov. Yeah, got it the first time, sick note. Pump only. See if we can stand the excitement. Doors, Colin. I've got a pound for every time I've been to this block. Yeah. Hurry up. Come on, hurry up. He hasn't been here a month and he's been banging on the wall all night. I thought he was building or something. Oh, well, he's locked himself in, has he? That's what he said. Get help, he's yelling at me. 
I'm 70 years old. I can do without all that, you know. Don't worry, we'll sort it all out. Fire brigade, sir. We're coming in. Is that all right? I wish you bloody would. Get your voice down. Sir? My hands are gone dead, yeah. Uh, got myself in. I couldn't get out, could I? Keys are over there. Well, you did this to yourself? Of course I did. What do you think I am, a bleeding rock rider? I've seen you before, haven't I, eh? When you got yourself locked in a box when I was at Borough Street. Yeah, that was me. I'm the rather right wriggler. The rather right wriggler. I love it. Oh, wow. He's a bloody pervert. Well, is this a hobby? This me act, isn't it? Weekends, anyway. I don't come garden, Leicester Square, the dilly I have. And I could do it underwater. Yeah, well, don't give up your day job, will you? I thought he was just stuck in the back of some drawer and forgotten about it. And he calls me in, tells me I'm going. Pack your bags and report to Morton on the 12th. What's the doing with my mouth hanging open? Yeah, I can imagine. I can't figure him out, you know. I mean, we never really got on and now he's pulling strings for me. I mean, he must be. I'm not even a leading hand. I expect you're both very happy then. One big happy family, the fire brigade, innit? <sighs> what do I say? Nothing. He just walk in and tell me you're going off on some jaunt for God knows how long. That's the first I hear about it. What do you want me to do? Turn cartwheels? I just told you I didn't think I stood a chance of getting on the course. I just found out and I'm telling you now. And it's not some jaunt, it's a bloody tough course. I'm lucky to be on it. No doubt you'll be going on it then, won't you? And I'll be stuck here on my own, won't I? Oh, don't worry. I know what's happening. I'm getting quite used to it. What are you talking about? What's the matter with you? The same thing that's the matter with you, Kevin. The bloody fire brigade. Vaseline was no different. The only time you see a light in their eyes, apart from being in bed, is when they're talking about playing heroes. Oh, come on, darling. We'll go on your bloody course and play cowboys and Indians. Let's hope it does you more good than it did him, eh? Hey? Doesn't say much for business if this is where he keeps his office. What's that smell? I don't know. Not exactly Canary Wharf, is it? Mike, are you sure about this? I mean, we don't know what we're getting into here. Perhaps there's another way. Like what? Send him a card and ask him nicely. The only way we'll get her back is by bringing her back. And we need help. I don't like it any more than you do. Here we go. I take it you're aware of brigade policy on secondary employment, because if you're not, you can ask me now. Give me them grips, will you? What are you up to? I think just laying about. Thought you might need a hand or something. No, nah, I've got work force of thousands, haven't I? Where's Marion? I don't know. She was gone when I woke up. Don't fancy waiting for her. See if we can get something on this alternator, will you? Before I kick it out. Yeah, you might need these. So go on. What'd she say? Nothing. Well, nothing that made any sense as far as I could see. She started bending my ear because I want to go on this course. What am I going to do? Just like Vaseline. If you ask me, she's still half cracked. Yeah, maybe. 
Maybe he took you on board too quick. Oh, who's talking? That's Kelly. Yeah, well, I'll give you that one. So what are you going to do? It's too good to miss, isn't it? Ugh. I'm not backing off now, mate. Don't worry. All right, if I do a bit of driving for a couple of days, that should keep me out of the way. And it'll save us two fighting. There. There. Tell me you don't need my help. I take it you're aware of brigade policy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't let her put an address down, but we got the town. So once I'm there, it's just a question of ways and means. Like what exactly? Well, it depends. I've shouted her name in a swimming pool full of kids and got a result before this. <laughs> no, we could find her all right. Getting her back is the problem. You say she's willing to come, is she? Well, yeah, of course she is. I mean, she was kidnapped in the first place. She's not on holiday. But under Spanish law, we'd be kidnapping it ourselves. Now, the point is, if she is willing to come, we don't have to use too many tricks. She wants to be at home with us, Mr Ferris. That's the point. So, what do you have to do? Well, once I've found her, I have to check out how long a lead they give her. She's best to get her over the border or lost in a crowd before they start shouting. Now, once I've got it set up, I'll need one of you over there. And it might be short notice. What for? <laughs> well, she's a bit too big to tuck under my arm and start running. And she's not going to jump into a car just because I say so, is she? No, no, no. Of course not. Um, probably best if it's me. I would think so. What if they start looking? I mean, what's to stop all this happening again? My advice would be to make it a ward of court the minute you get her back into this country. Then she has the legal right to choose to be with you. Hmm? Should help. It won't happen again, don't worry. So, uh, you've done it before and you can do it, do it again by the sound of it. And I want my daughter back. So, what's it going to cost? We're 1500 up front. 1500 when she's back home with you. There's cash, Mr. Wilson. And I'll tell you something else. If you let that Zoe walk away because of it, you're an even bigger muck. You're lucky she's put up here this far, a lovely girl like that. They don't go on trees, neither. A good woman is a treasure above rubies, Colin. That's what the book says. What book? I don't know. The Bible, I think. Oh, I... I miss her, I know that much. Get up off your bum and do something about it, then. Do you want to live with her? Or do you want to be stuck in your cup for the rest of your life? Make up your mind. I want to be with Zoe. I just can't seem to get round to it. I get it. You're frightened, aren't you? That's what's up with you. Fearless Colin, frightened of his mum. All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll come round before the weekend and break it to him for you. A bit of moral support, that's what you need. Oh, would you? It'll sound better coming from you, Uncle Jaffa. You know what she's like. She'll just talk me out of it. God, you're right. I am scared. Daft, isn't it? I've seen bigger men than you frightened of their mums, Colin. We'll sort it out, don't worry. If ever I want to shake up with a bit of crumpet, you can give me a hand with Auntie Rose, can't you? <laughs> Hello. They're, um, they're both in doing their hair, so we'll, we'll just go for a drive, shall we? Thank you. It was then I realised that in order to fly across the road, the birds would first have to fly over Mr Hayes' mighty Rolls Royce. They were all over the roof and the bonnets, sliding and slithering and trying to keep a grip on that beautifully polished surface. I could hear their sh... Very nice, Recall. <laughs> you don't fancy doing that for us in a mess, do you? John, Sandra, what are you doing here? What is this, a night out? Well, we're not supposed to be here, but we talked our way in for a minute. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Mrs. Helen. You are right? Yeah, you? Good. No, Laura. Oh, no, she's uh, getting Ben something to eat. She's in the kitchenette down there. 
There you go. Thanks. Look after those. So, they've been uh, checking you out, have they? Yeah, quite a lot. Bit like going in the garage, isn't it? Getting an MOT. Yeah. <coughs> there you are, son. You'll enjoy that. All right? Yeah. Thanks, Mum. Big day tomorrow. Surgeon's going to find out what Jamie thinks about all this. I don't know how he manages to keep so brave, but he does. I was thinking the same thing about you on the way here. It's more guilt than bravery if you want the truth. You keep thinking there must have been something else I could do before it came to this. It's not your fault or anybody else's. And I've learnt when someone's being brave and when they're not. Believe me. If it had to be Jamie, he's lucky to have the family he's got. All of you. I know it's not a very pleasant decision. I know it's not going to be very pleasant. But I know I've got to do it. I'm just, I'm just not ready for a baby. Not yet. One day in the future, yes, maybe, but not now. Is that so very wrong to you? No. It's tough for you, whatever you decide. I'm just sorry you had to make that sort of decision. Oh, you stupid of me. No more than me. We were both a bit impetuous. True. I'm not sorry we met, though. Up. Just practicing. Oops. Well, let's hope the opposition have all got wooden legs, shall we, Colin? We're getting better, though, sub. We'll thrash them. What are you going to use? Hockey sticks? Mm. Oi, haven't you got something better to do? Yes! Morning, John. Morning, Gav. Oh, how'd the meeting go? Interesting. Among other things, it turns out that our little rumour a while back wasn't just a rumour. About the closure? Hmm. What did they say? The ACO briefed all station officers in the area. Proposals under the fire cover review. Two station closures in the northeast, two in the southeast. Our prophets of doom weren't far out after all. Maybe I should have kept the pond. <laughs> Union sent me the same information yesterday. Looks like it's either Azul Shadbrook for the chop, yeah? Well, at least it's no secret anymore. Well, it won't be a secret in 24 hours. 2,000 leaflets for the Save the Blackwall campaign. Same for each watch. Word gets about, doesn't it? supposed to go and deliver this lot one by one. I'm a firefighter, not postman Pat. You'll be a firefighter without a bloody fire station if you don't do something about it. We've got to let people around here know what's going on. It's their service. Well, let them come and get their own ones, then. We could put them outside in a box or something. I'll put you outside in a box in a minute. We'll put a lid on it, too. <sighs> this is across the board, isn't it? I take it Blue Watch haven't been singled out for this honour. <sighs> Each watch gets 2,000 leaflets, all right? We're all in the same boat. If you don't want them to pull those black wool, you've got to do something about it. If half of them get red, we'll be getting through to somebody. I've read mine. Where'd you get yours? Well, John gave me a bunch when I came in. Oh. Yeah, well, 
got to start somewhere, haven't you? Oh, yeah, all right. You must be joking. She would have broken it. You're right, Bayleaf. Yeah, fine, Gaff. Uh, just checking tyres. Oh, Gaff, I've uh, put those form tens on your desk. And he uh, starts being on the station commander about him. Yeah, all right, I'll do it now. Sub, what's the situation on Bailey's kid? Any joy yet? Well, he knows where she is, more or less. He's even found a bloke who's willing to go and get her. Snatchback, they call it. Then they make a reward of court when they get back here. So what's the problem? Well, money, probably. Apparently the bloke wants a stack of cash up front before he'll even lift a finger. Poor old Mike's thinking about selling the car. Meanwhile, she's in Spain and, uh, well, he's over here fretting about it. Fathers and daughters, innit? He won't be any good to us if he carries on fretting. Keep an eye on him with your sub. I've already got one anxious father on his watch. Yes, Gov. I'll tell you something, H. I love my job. Can't I? Yeah, it is. You put me in the section two weeks ago. I don't know, mate. It all looks the same, mate. Is it the water? Mate, it all looks the same. Put it out. Oh, lovely, mate. Lovely. Right, H, get the tools up. Yeah, here you go. Right up there. Can I have one more? One more down. Get them up here, boy. Be careful, H. What's the old? Right. No sweat. What's your head? Oh, looks lovely in there, mate. I'm going to go for H. Are you right? Back it out there. H, I'm going to check it out down there. Stay with him, we'll get somebody there. Call the emergency services. Person trapped at the Thames Barrier. Yeah, that's under the river, isn't it? Oh, well, what, you can swim, can't you? Oh, oh, it's open. 
What's our best route in? A lift and stairs to the service tunnel. That'll take you out to Pier 5. Got radio link up. Yeah. And emergency equipment on site. Come on, it's a quarter of a mile further on. Paramedics have arrived and are on the way to you. Good. Bailey, find the whereabouts of the fireboat. Will do, Gov. Right, it's up in there. Right, let's form a chain, get it all down there. Oh, I'll get down the bottom with you, sir. Bad news, Gov. The fireboat is attending a jumper at London Bridge. Damn. Proceed, hey, Bailey. We're going to need a Neil Robertson stretcher by Got the it. looks of things. Yeah. There's a Robertson in our kit back there. Go, make room for the paramedic. George, get that stretcher over here, will you? Long here. Section's bloody treacherous. Watch your foot, gang. Is there any more water going to come in here? No, the gate's not in the water. Don't worry about the water, lads. Come on. You've got an ounce further. We're about to find out. We've got to bring him back, sir. Bloody bulkheads. Give us that. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. Where's my gun? Hey, just lay still, man. Just lay still. Down here. That's three lads. We need to get this quickly. We have a serious problem here. Unfortunately, he's lost all feeling in his lower limbs, which indicates a spinal problem. I think we all know what that means. Get out here safely. What's your friend's name? Harry. Harry Webb. Get the end. Don't worry, Harry. We'll get you out. That's it. Get the oxygen. Go up and organise a, a stretcher and find a way to get him out. All right, Harry. Bring down a bit closer. OK, Harry. We're almost ready to go now. time you want him around and he's not here. He's mucking around down the river somewhere. I knew it'd be a waste of time. Come on, Louis, he's a father. You've kept him out of picture this long. 
He's entitled to hold her hand. But he's not here to do it, is he, dear? Never mind, darling. We're calling from the hospital, if that's what you really want. You poor thing is, we're here with you. Oh, hurry up, Dad. I don't think he wants to wait much longer. Okay, Harry. Just relax. Thank you. Make sure he's feet are in the ropes. Yeah, just five minutes left. One, two. On your head. Take the cylinder. Okay. Gently ease him up. Last bit, not the three. One, two, three. Let's have some slack out of those rooms. That's good. Let me just check him over before he's moving on. Put it down gently. Watch his back, watch his back. Oh, just get down there. Hang on, honey. You're doing fine. Got hold of it. Yeah. Okay. Treat him like a baby. I've got to have a word with the government. Kate. John, everything all right? Is there an operational crane on this pier? Yeah. What's on your mind, sub? Bring a boat in, Gov. Put the stretcher on the crane, lower him into the boat, boat takes him to the shore. I mean, it's got to be smooth and going back the other way. Yeah, but what boat? PLA might be able to help. I'll check. Might be safer to close this next gate as well. Keep the tide off them. Be a lay again. Well, you do that. I'll sort out land side. Turn out level seven. Level seven. seven. Bailey. Yes, I'll go. get back down. Take go. the pump over to the main bank pontoon and await the boat. Go. Come on, hold on. You'll oh, be all right. Hurts. Hold there. Don't worry, darling. You're in good hands. They know what they're doing. Excuse me, dear. This is my little girl here. Just you make sure you take good care of her and that baby, right? Mum! Don't worry, sweetheart. Get George. It's not much further up. Oh. In we are, love. In there. In you oh. go. Get her in here quick. Oh. Come on. You got a cell in there? No, got him in there. Okay, slowly. We're going to swing your feet this way. Slowly. You got him, come on. Wait, 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 wait. One more lift first. And... Okay, carefully. And pass me the cylinder. Watch that line. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you got that? Yeah. Right. Go. Ah. Come on behind her with him, sub. Lock off. And... Up! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One. Up! Big it's all right, Harry. We're nearly there. Well done, lads. It's already up top. Right. Good with you now, Gav. Just getting into position. Over. Come on, as quick as you can. Out of the way, George. Ah, good time. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Harry, we're just about to let you to the boat. All secure? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Over to you. Right, you're happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, shut the guideline over. Right, Let's have him up, yeah?
when I opened it up. It's huge, isn't it? I mean, the size of them hydraulics on that gate. Some piece of kit, wasn't it? Well, so it should be. That piece of kit weighs three and a half thousand tonnes. How'd you know that? It says so here in this leaflet. Look, each gate is over 20 metres high and weighs, with counterweights, about 3,700 tonnes. Each is capable of with... George! George, your mother-in-law was here. She went on fire, was she? No, it's Kelly. She's having her baby. They were on the way to the hospital. Off you go, George. <laughs> Gold top tonight, then. Yeah. 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 Mum, shut up! Kelly. <sighs> oh, George. And about time, too. We've been halfway around London looking for you. How you doing, love? You all right? Oh, George, you won't go, will you? I'm staying here. Don't worry. And you're coming home with me afterwards. You and the baby. Both of you. How's she doing? She's doing really well. She's fine. Yeah. Oh. Traction's oh. coming, Kelly. Take some gas. Big breath in. Another big breath in. And out slowly. That's it. Well done. Yeah, you're breathing. <laughs> Baseball gov. Oh, just put it down there, Bailey. Any word from George? No. We found the hospital. He's still there. We'll take a look in when we get off duty. I really appreciate that. Kids, eh? Yeah. This isn't about the mess book, Bayleaf. Pull up a chair. Now, I, I don't want any questions or refusals. It's just something towards what you need. Strictly between you and me. Call it alone. And call it whatever you like. Just get your daughter back, all right? She's coming on, Kelly. Take a breath in. Breath, breath, breath in, breath. hold your breath and push right down in your bottom. Big, long, push, strong push. push. Come on, keep push. it coming. Keep it coming. <laughs> Another push. push. Keep push. it coming. Is Come it on, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Well done. Go <laughs> away. Yeah. Well, well done. Yeah. <sighs> Do you want to give a little flying? Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. So with the next contraction, I just want you to give her a nice push down in your bottom and the baby will be born. Oh. Now the contraction's coming, okay? Come on, push down in your bottom, the last push now. Push down. That's it. Well done. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. You're doing well. Coming. Come on, another push down. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. That's it. And blow away. Blow away. Come on. Come on. All the way. There you go. The baby's head's born. Well done. So one last push now, and the baby. Big push, gone, big push, big push. Big push. Last... All the way, gone. Push, push, push. Well push, push, push. done. <laughs> Congratulations, you've got a very healthy little boy. I did it. 
I've got a son. Oh, 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 He'll be around to see us all the time, don't you worry. Anyway, perhaps it's not too late. Try for another one, eh? Didn't know much when it comes to it. Just be football kicking oh. records in there. 